Welcome to a little video to show you our touch bar classes in the MBS Sojo plugin version 16.5. We open the test project and run it. It may take a while. By the way, I'm using the nice Touche touch bar simulator here, so I can actually show you the touch bar. It's launching. And when the application is running, it creates a couple of buttons here. We can click on each button and it triggers our event, which is a message box with the name of the button. So there's a print button, and we can even colorize a button, as well as clicking here the OK button. Let's see in code how this works. So, in the open event, we call, no, in the open event of the application, we call the build app touch bar if the touch bar is available. So, here we create the touch bar instance of our touch bar subclass, then we set our identifier to identify our touch bar so the settings can be saved. We define our main item. We define a couple of items to be there by default. The test item, the print item, there's a special identifier for a small space as well as one for the proxy which is a placeholder for a sub-touch bar to be put. We set the default items. And now for the customization, we define the required items as well as the allowed items. So test must always be there and print can be removed. We assign the touch bar to the application. And we keep a reference in a property so the touch bar is kept alive and not destroyed too early. The same happens on the main window where we build a specific touch bar for the window. The code is very similar, the identifier is of course different, the items are different and we assign it to the window and keep a reference so the touch bar stays alive. And each of your windows can have a different touch bar. So here is our touch bar subclass. And the important event is the make item for identifier. Here the system will request any items for identifiers as needed. So in this case we create buttons with a label but you can also create some with images. We create a touch bar item with our identifier. We assign the button to be our button. Also, this is a view. We define the label for the customization panel and a priority. We keep a reference of all the items we create in our items array and we return the instance. Same happens for the print button and for our test window button and here we also set the color for the button to be green. So the MBS plugin provides show and hide events so you know when your touch bar is available and visible to the user and here the touch bar item is connected to the button and the button has the actual action event 
So here we have our code to be run when the button is clicked. Other controls are available, like sliders or color pickers. Thanks for watching. If you like, get a copy of the 16.5 plugin and try the example project yourself.